Citizens from all around the world were intrigued when Afghanistan made world headlines in 1979. Afghanistan is located in the Middle East, bordering Pakistan, Iran, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan in the north, and China in the northeast. Recently, a racial politician named Hafizullah Amin had been elected one of the leading organizations of the Sao Revolution, in which the government overthrew the former leader Mohammad Daoud Khan. As a result, Amin was placed into the position of the Prime Minister of Afghanistan. Amin strongly believed in communism. However, most Muslims disagreed because they saw communism as an atheist ideology. Atheism is a lack of belief in the existence of God or any gods. Together, the angered Muslims created their own group that they called the Mujahideen. Earlier before the Mujahideen, the thousands of Russians had parachuted into the city of Kabul, Afghanistan's capital. The Mujahideen called a jihad, a holy war, on the supporters of Amin and extended it to the Russians. They gladly accepted. Unfortunately, though, Amin was assassinated on December 27, 1979, due to a gunshot wound. To replace him, Amin supporters chose Babrak Kamel to be their new leader. His only struggle, however, was that his whole office depended entirely on military support. He needed 85,000 soldiers to keep his place in office. The Mujahideen proved to be a worthy opponent. Although they had nothing but old rifles to protect them, they knew the mountains well and what temperatures would they encounter. So as you can guess, the Mujahideen pushed back the Russians far off the border, fleeing this from the U.S. Seeing this from the U.S., many people started making cartoons and predicting what would happen during the war. Men, women, and children who didn't take part in the war were forced to leave Afghanistan. Most migrated to one of the bordering countries or U.S. Seeing this from the U.S., many people started making cartoons and predicting what would happen during the war. Some of the cartoons included Russia smacking Afghanistan with a hammer, Afghanistan being blown up by Central America, or a large sign with the capital's name on it, Kabul. The Russians had skill, but that didn't help them at all. Combat boots would last a maximum of 10 days, and tanks wouldn't be able to make it up through the mountains. Today, the Muslim population keeps growing and growing and growing.